I've met a lot of fighters in my interview, interviewed a lot of fighters in my life. You are, I think, the tallest fighter. Uh, Klitschko pretty, is, is big, big yeah. but how tall are you? Six foot six, six, six foot seven. Yeah. The error's changed. I see that you had Mike Tyson on your show before. I've had Mike Tyson on. I've had a lot of fighters on over the years. Fight. Evander Holyfield's yeah. been here. Yeah. Uh, and they're uh, not as tall as you, people I could easily beat, any of them. <laughs> uh, and have, and have, frankly. <laughs> Uh, because there's, you know, there, I can, I'm actually taller than some of them. And as we all know, if you're a little taller than someone, you can beat them every time. Yeah. You know, it, w it would seem that way. No, it is not. It's so funny it to me. Nothing's more, uh, nothing's less true. I am uh, 6'4", about 190 pounds, and I've been around amazing fighters who, if I didn't know any better, and I'd had a few pints. The illusion. I, the illusion, if I think I could take that yeah. guy, they would murder me with their small <laughs> finger. It is the case, they're trained. They're, they're trained like, in, the instincts of these guys is phenomenal. But yeah. the, the development of the heavyweight division, you know, from Tyson five foot something, and now yeah. six foot something is right. phenomenal. Right. They're big guys, they are big guys and heavy hitters right now. If I came at you, uh, and let's, and that's, you know, let's. <laughs> How many security you got in there? You know, you need... <laughs> no, but if I came at you, what yeah. would be your assessment be? Would it be, uh, what are, where's my weakness? You know, uh, and this you is. Kick your hip. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> the testicles. The testicles. You know? <laughs> if you can find them, you're welcome to them. Uh, <laughs> You are a huge, yeah, yeah. huge, massive star in the United Kingdom. Just a massive star. You can't go anywhere. What's it like when you, are you recognized in the United States? No. You're becoming a bigger star, but no? I'm not just happy to be here. They think I'm a basketballer or I play NFL or something like that. And sometimes we play along to it, you know? Like I just tell them I tore my ACL and right now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But now some people, if you're into boxing, you'll know because the heavyweight championship of the world title is um, well renowned. It's a big title to yeah, have, yeah. and I've captured it, and um, we're trying to secure the last one. It's unbelievable if you can unite all of those different belts. That would yeah. be an incredible feat. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, um, it's something that can add to the legacy, and uh, it will do well for the sport of boxing as well. When you fight, and this is unusual, you fight in front of uh, last couple of fights, eighty to ninety thousand people watch you fight. What are the downsides to fighting in front of a crowd that's that large? It's just no one likes embarrassment, no one likes failure. And especially, you, you can get fail. used to it, trust me. You, <laughs> it's, it's part of life. You that's, become adjusted to it. You become adjusted to and it. And then you're, there's people there and they see you yeah. fail and you're like, whatever, you know. <laughs> and and it, it, it just becomes your thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, we try, which we're yeah. trying to avoid yeah, yeah. in front of 89,000 people. But do you find that actually that is a motivating factor when you're fighting is I don't want to look bad in front of these people? 100%. And especially with that last fight that you showed against yeah. Klitschko, that was the first thing that went through my head because that was actually the first time I boxed in front of a bigger audience and it was exactly that that motivating factor that I didn't want to lose in front of so many people kept me going when times got tough you you've taken I mean not a lot because you're an incredible fighter and you and uh, very uh, great defensively but when you get hit hard in yeah. the head what's going is anything going through your mind at that moment are there first of all this everything do you just go to another planet for a while uh but then you come back and and, and what's the, how can you motivate yourself out of a moment like that it's interesting because it's the last thing that you get taught to get hit and when you're flat out on your back there's no coach that will come into the gym and tell you all right today i'm going to hit you with a baseball bat i'm going to knock you out and i want you to train yourself to get up so yep. it becomes a situation where it's fight or flight either you're going to get up and continue or you don't have it in you. And you only find out on the night you're in the ring. And um, I've been down before in that fight they showed. I was down, I was out. But luckily I had that fight in me. I got up and continued and was victorious. And that Yeah, there was thing. a moment that you get knocked down and you can see that you're, you're trying to get your bearings. But and what you're... really happened is I actually slipped. You know, it looked, like, it, looked, it looked like you punched me. And I'm gonna keep on saying that until everyone in the world believes it. Yeah, no. No, it's true, you slipped and you fell against his glove. I saw that. <laughs>